all you cool cats and kittens, it's Kale Baskin here. Just kidding, welcome back to the channel. This is phase two of our chicken run. Welcome to chicken land! Forgot? 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 Are you a rooster? Gone crazy here in chicken. chicken land. I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken. Look how nice this is coming along with phase two of the chicken run. Go out here. So cool. Got our own little chicken zoo. Look at that. I think we're out of daylight. <laughs> Look at this guys. So here is the inside of the chicken coop from my previous video of our chicken and duck coop. That is in phase one video. I will post the link in the comments below if you would like to watch our very first video of building the inside chicken coop and run. This is the outdoor chicken run for the chickens and ducks. We will be adding all kinds of fun <laughs> things to our chicken run my girls are going to be making some signs to put on the outside of the fencing that will be super adorbs this turned out beautifully there's one door that we can come to get in you go all the way around this is a very secure fence we've got the second door that we can come out like that and it, it will latch from the other side if I needed to lock it and this is how you can get around to the barn so we just come around this way to get into the chicken run like so and again I'll post that video for you they have water for inside the coop and they have food and this is where they can lay their eggs. We're gonna be painting all of this in phase three as well. Make it super adorbs. And it just opens like this. Got our nest boxes in there all lined up. There's four on the top and four on the bottom. Oh, I hear Nugget. Let me go back and show you a few other ideas we have. I hope everyone is staying happy and healthy. Hi Rico. Are you hanging out with the chickens today? All right. So this is the finished fencing. If you have any questions, comment below. We've got branches for them. Lots of different kinds of water. Binta is joining the party. What are you doing, Glamour? I just love Glamour. Phase three will be starting. We are 
drawing up the plans, Shane is going to be putting in a duck pond. It's going to basically look like a really cool patterned bathtub with a drain. And he's going to be digging all of this area to have a pipe that leads underground out here so that we can just drain the water. We're not going to be doing a fancy duck pond with like a pump and a filter and all that. It would be great and we may do it someday. So with our growing homestead, we want to make sure all our animals have all of the proper necessities they need. The duck pond was next on our list. A lot of people use these kiddie pools. They get really dirty really fast. We clean it every day. There's endless opportunities to give our chickens and ducks so much happiness, lots of enrichment so they stay busy, stay healthy, stay happy for years to come. So with Kiki, I will keep you updated. You'll see at the end of the video, she is a he. Yes, you were crowing your very first crow. It's so cute to see them have their very first crow. They don't do it very well. It's kind of a baby crow and it gets a little stronger. Little Nugget over here, he's getting really good at his. He does it in the morning and at night. We absolutely love it. Our neighbors have two roosters across the way. Our homestead, we are trying to start small little baby steps of supplying some of our own food through eggs. If we had lots of babies someday with baby chicks, that might be an option that if we want to find a place that will take them so that we can use the meat eventually. It's not really something I thought that I ever would do, would to raise my own chicks and then eat them and put them on the table. But in this time of day with what's going on in the world, we just wanna be prepared that we would have a few things that we don't have to be so dependent on getting our food sources from people that might not even be available at the time with the food crisis that's going on, the meat shortage. Try to get your own food going, even if it's just a little at a time. Not only is it fun and rewarding, but it's just a good plan to have. Are you guys just waiting to get fed? Hi, Wonton. This is Lolly. Lolly, you always go out on your own and venture all by yourself when we let you free range. Hi, Kiki. There's our rooster. This is Nugget. They all just have their own personality. Glamour. Glamour's over there. Come here, Glamour. Are you glamorous? She's kind of like a gray blue color. forget to like and subscribe like the video subscribe of course that's the number one tip of course. comment hit that bell so you can see the next video with these cuties <gasps> <laughs>